Questions for DeShazer? Start here on the right side. Mark. DeShazer, how do you, how do you even register a game ending the way that this one just did? I mean, you got to live with it. I mean, there's not much you can do. You can, you can argue with the refs, you can yell at them, but I mean, you can't make them see something. And you know, they can't go back and reverse that call. So it's just something that we're going to have to live with. You know, the game shouldn't have came down to us needing to win that late like we did, like we had to. So, I mean, we can't just point fingers at them. On the right side. The running game was really working for, for LSU tonight and, and was a big problem for the defense. Was that just a, a mismatch physically or, or schematically? What was going on there? I mean, I'm not going to say a mismatch physically because, I mean, we play with those guys. I mean, they, they run the ball well. You know, they're, they're coached well up front and they run the ball hard, you know, just. Just mistakes here and there, you know, just game planning. And I mean, they, they knew most of some of our schemes and they they take advantage of it when they could, you know. It was just great play calling on both sides, well, on their side. Staying in the back, left side. DeShazer, you guys were trying to end this losing streak against LSU. It was close. How frustrating is it to see it, the, the uh, losing streak continue to them? I mean, it's frustrating because it's, it's a rivalry game, I mean, in my opinion. So, you know, you just always – you want to come out on top. I mean, you don't want to be the underdog going into next year. You know, you want to be a team that, hey, they won this game last year. You know, they're, they're going to pull it out again. But, I mean, three, three straight – well, four straight losses, really, if you look at it since Cotton Bowl. I mean, I mean, it's just – it's a team you want to beat. You know, it's a team when it's on the schedule you, you want to get a win against. Here in front, Olin. Says so y'all had uh, there at the end. You had forced uh, uh, LSU to kick a field goal when they could have put it away with a uh, uh, with a touchdown. And just tell me if you can speak for your whole defense or just you. Uh, how confident were y'all that y'all might be able to pull that one out? I mean, we're we're confident in ourselves. I mean, people doubt us here and there. You know. We know what we're capable of doing. We know what we've done bad this year and what we needed to correct. And we know that, you know, like the question that was asked earlier, if they out physical to us, you know, we knew we could play against these guys and we knew we could be just as physical as them. And from your offense, uh, you know, confident in your, in your offense going out and being able to pull it out? I mean, we had full confidence in our offense. I mean, it became two minute drill, if you ask me. It was two, two minutes and seven seconds on the clock. I mean, going to, you know, we have a pretty good. Offense, you know, we go against them in practice and we know what they're capable of. I mean, it really just came down to making the plays when you needed to. And I mean, unfortunately, the call at the end, it didn't happen. And, you know, we threw the ball up like we normally do, thinking we had offsides and it wasn't called. So it just didn't go our way. Staying in the back, left side, John. DeShazer, how do you handle this and, and what is your thought process while you sit and wait now for your bowl assignment? But have to live with this one. Once we find out what bow we're going to, you know, you, that's what you have to focus on. I mean, it's definitely a tough loss, and just not the way we wanted to end the season. But hey, we have another one to play. Fortunately enough, I mean, it's not like we're one of those teams that just have to go home after this one. I mean, fortunately enough, we we get to go play another game, and you know, once we find out where we're going and who we're playing, you know, we just have to start game planning that and preparing for that. Because I mean, we definitely want to end. The complete season on a high note with a win. Seated in the back left. Zach. Shazer, you, you played a lot of football here at, at Kyle Field. Uh, how does it feel knowing that you played your last one single? I mean, honestly, I don't think it's hit me yet. You know, <laughs> I mean, it was the last game, and, you know, it, it was a great experience all the, the whole four years being here. And, I mean, just, you know, just going to have to, you know, keep motivating the young guys, you know, try to leave on a good note. And, you know, hopefully I'll just be someone that they look up to and, you know, they continue to play hard as a defense and, you know, just continue to want to be great players. Anything else for DeShazer? 
Thank you, Cecil.